Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's been about four weeks since this wood has been in this kiln. So what we're gonna do is we're going to test it. We're gonna take off this uh, solar kiln and then we're gonna test the wood inside this versus the, uh, the wood that's been sitting outside in an IBC tote. So this has kind of been a project of mine this summer. Pretty much end of June, into July, um, I've been kind of messing around with, you know, quick ways to dry your, your firewood. So this uh, model has the uh, solar fan on the inside and I actually put a couple of vents on different locations of the kiln. So let's get this off and then we'll test her up. It's pretty hot in here. So I'm just gonna disconnect my fan here. Remove the solar panel. Okay, this is the firewood that's been sitting outside. It's under roof, uh, exposed to the weather a little bit, uh, but it should, uh, should be okay. So we're gonna test this moisture content versus uh, the wood that was in the kiln. So let's split these up and then we'll test the inside. So outside reading, I've got 13 to 12%, 12.6. Twelve point nine, thirteen percent, twelve point three. So let's split it open and see what we got. Okay, the reading on inside, thirty percent, twenty seven to thirty percent, thirty eight percent. 39%. Well, let's see what the kiln has. Okay, there's the kiln removed from the uh, firewood. And we're gonna go over, pull a few pieces out, and then we're gonna test it up. So on the wood that wasn't in the kiln, it was outside moisture of 12 to 13%, inside like 27 to 30%. So let's check this right now. Okay, outside temp. 11%, 10%, 12%. So let's see what the inside is. Twenty eight percent, twenty five percent. Twenty six percent. Twenty seven percent. So a lot of that wood over there was thirty on the inside. This is about twenty five, twenty seven percent. Thirty percent. 14. Okay, so having this wood in the solar kiln for a month, um, maybe lowered it five percentage points from what it, it is uh, sitting outside. So I'm going to call this uh, prototype a bust. Um, now maybe if I leave it in longer, maybe. Um, it's almost August, it's very humid here, so maybe that plays a part in it too as well. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to take both piles of wood and then take it back to the back of the property and then let it uh, air dry uh, the irregular way, the old fashioned way. Um, 
next I'm going to tackle a larger uh, solar kiln, one that's insulated, one that uh, is a lot bigger. I think you're going to like what I have in store for uh, the solar kiln, so you're just going to have to stay tuned. And uh, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button so you get some updates and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Even though it's not the result I wanted to hear, um, it's glad I, I did it. I learned a lot. Uh, this is kind of solar kiln 2.0. Um, this one had more vents. It had a fan in it. I don't know. It just didn't work. So again, maybe I would have left it in longer. It would have been better. Maybe if it wasn't the uh, midway through the summer. I don't know. So. This firewood does sound dry, but it's not. Okay, so these two crates are from my uh, kiln test. This crate um, has been seasoning up on top of the hill for the past couple months. I'm going to add this maple from the test 
into this uh, firewood rack made out of pallets and that kind of just shows how how big a, uh, a full quarter wood is so there's three stacks of 16 inch uh, long firewood four feet high eight feet wide so let's get stacking I'll finish stacking the rest of this tomorrow. I got a few more totes on the side of the hill here that I can get in here. I'm guessing one more tote will fill this up. Um, but that's where I'll stop this video. I appreciate all the support guys. Thank you and have a great day.